Hello, welcome to week 72. Uh, it was a pretty good week, um, despite all the craziness of the news. Um, <laughs> so I am down for the week 2.6 pounds. Um, I am down overall 89.6 pounds and down since my highest weight 112.6 pounds <laughs> so <clears throat> like I said I'm trying to get back to Friday and Friday or you know Friday and Friday that's what I just said um <laughs> so this is compared to last Friday although I think I did my last video on Saturday or Sunday. So the numbers might not match up as far as like total loss. Um, cause I'm not as down as much from yeah, last week or last video, I should say. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good week. If you have, um, been following me or watching my videos, you probably can guess what's coming up. Um, <laughs> after a good week. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm still like in the thick of moving, um, although I'm not in the thick of it because the first open house is this weekend, which means I gotta find somewhere to be when the whole entire world is quarantining itself. Um, so actually I think this is probably like a good time for my fellow agoraphobics to run our errands if you know everyone is truly gonna be quarantining. But I think now we're using like a loose term for quarantine. It just means I don't have to go to work and my kids don't have to go to school, it seems like. Because <laughs> I expect people will be going about their normal business. Um, so I did not um, stock up on anything like toilet paper or any food or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm hoping to do my normal Trader Joe's haul on Sunday morning. Um, so hopefully they won't be out of everything that I want. <laughs> um, but yeah, like because it's the open house, I basically have to find things to do. So I, you know, tomorrow I am going to Clothes Mentor, which is like my favorite place to go to, sh to sell clothes. Um, the closest one to me is like 40 miles away. So that'll definitely give me something to do. Um, and that will be interesting. I didn't have time to go through all of my closet. Um, also I have like two huge laundry baskets and like a bag of shoes. Um, and then I think I have, they're doing like some kind of deal right now. Um, and it's not really like my style, but I cannot resist like a contest and a giveaway. Uh, basically for any designer bags, you get entered into a contest to win a free coach bag or a brand new coach bag. And I don't think Coach is like my style, but I do have a Kate Spade bag, uh, tote bag that I've never used that I've been thinking of um, consigning. And actually, this isn't a traditional consignment shop if you don't know anything about them. They basically just pay you cash or credit. I always take cash, um, like right then and there. You don't have to wait for it to be sold. Um, you could probably get a better deal for yourself if you do all the work for Poshmark and all that kind of stuff. I just... I know I'm not going to do it. Um, like one time I did do a lot of clothes on eBay like several years ago and um, I didn't feel like inventorying everything so I just like laid it out on the on the um, floor and I was like most of these are size you know 18 to 20 um, and then just put it up like for bid and it went for like $80. They're like 20 or so pieces. And a couple things were not 18, 20. They were smaller than that. And so the woman like messaged me, the winner messaged me, um, you know, that she was mad or whatever. And like, I just wanted to get rid of it and have it go to a place. And so I just gave her a refund. I was like, oh, sorry. I guess I misread the label or something because I just didn't really care. <laughs> Um, so now I'm actually getting cash and, um, I have a ton of clothes and it makes me like not want to shop because I have all these clothes like from Torrid and from Melissa McCarthy when she had her line. Um, and I just see like so much money that I spent a lot of stuff having tags 
And I, I'm curious if anyone else has, has had that experience because I was like, well, and I still am like a clothes horse for sure. And, um, you know, like when you're feeling down or like you don't like your body, sometimes just buying something new, you know, helps you feel good. And, um, you know, I was saying to a friend yesterday, I took a picture of this, um, top that I wore on his show and I was like can you believe like this is what I wore on your TV show and um you know I was like I cannot believe I thought I looked good and of course like he was like you did look good but you look good now too and or better now or whatever he said um but yeah it's kind of embarrassing even though I know it shouldn't be you know to look at some of those clothes and think like I looked really good or, you know, whatever. I don't know. It's just embarrassing to me. Um, but I know that's like not a good way to think about it. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get rid of those clothes. Um, I only got through like basically the sleeveless tops, um, section, like dresses and sleeveless tops. Um, and then I have like blouses and sweaters and cardigans and then pants left. Um, and I'm hoping to do that before I move. Um, so I'm going to have to do one more trip to close mentor. And then my process has been basically what close mentor doesn't take. Then I said, I send a thread up. Um, and then they donate whatever doesn't sell after, you know, an X number of time. And it's been a good system. Like I don't get like a ton from thread up. Um, they actually have like a really bad deal. It's something like a dollar or sometimes even less. I remember there was one top I got 19 cents for. Um, so I don't know what the breakdown was on that. Maybe someone used a coupon or something like that. Um, sorry, I was just mesmerized by feeling my vein on my arm. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, that is about it on the clothes thing. Um, in my open house. And so Saturday or Sunday, my plan <laughs> for avoiding or being gone during the open house is I'm getting a massage and then I'm going to the dog shelter, um, for the remainder of the, of the day during the open house. It's so annoying because, you know, here you're supposed to like not be around people and all of that. And, um, I'm inviting strangers into my house, basically. <laughs> I won't be here, but still, it's kind of weird to think about. Um, I had, like, said to someone earlier that, like, I feel like I should leave out my jewelry and hide my toilet paper. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, there's been some interest. You know, I am uh, a renter here, um, but... Uh, yeah, so it wasn't like something that I was trying to do. I'm not going to benefit financially from the open house or from the sale, but I definitely want uh, the owners to benefit. Um, so I've already found a place to live, so that's good. I will be moving in April, so you'll have a new setup that you can look at. Um, the walls will be much more interesting. They're blue, and um, I'll put in some photos right here so you can see it um, empty. So... Some blue walls, a nice big grand master suite bedroom, it's called. It has two walk-in closets, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so that will be basically like my next couple weeks, and um, I'm hoping that it'll be a smooth process because I am really dreading it. <laughs> All right, that is it. I have talked so much about everything but um, weight loss, but, you know, right now it's just... I just touched my face right now. It's, uh, there's just so much other stuff going on and I'm glad that, um, you know, I'm not gaining or doing anything that would, um, you know, hurt progress like eating out or, you know, ordering in or any of that. So I'm going to stay on that, that track and, um, Hopefully next week we'll have another good week. Okay, bye.